Hello, welcome back to Survival Saturday with Johnny Tiger. On Saturday, February 12th, 2022. I've been meaning to do this episode for a while, but I keep uh, forgetting about it. Uh, sometimes it's like that I uh, think, oh, this would be a great idea, and uh, I, obviously I don't write it down, because why would I? And then I forget about it. But anyway, today we are going to get this done. One of the very basic self-defense uh, skill, principle, that everyone should at least know a little bit about. I mean, it, it is good to learn all kind of fancy kicks and all kind of fancy punches and all kind of fancy chops and throws and all that stuff. But honestly, most of the time, most of those stuff you are not going to use in self-defense. No, it's true. Most of the fancy stuff you learn in a dojo, you won't have time to bust them out and use them in a real conflict, in real self-defense situation. Most of the time, the person is in your face and you're you find yourself backing away and then you trip over something and then oh the technique go out the window everything that's left is thrashing around and surviving and trying to get your hand up between you and the other person and worrying about if they have a weapon on them but some of the very basic things that we do actually do come into play a lot in a self-defense situation and today I'm going to show you one of them. Back when I was a teenager, when I was younger, when I used to get into a lot of tussles, one of the things that we see people do the most often is shoving. Most of the time, fights happen in stages. There's something that triggers a fight, uh, there are some words exchanged, and then voices start to go up louder. People start to shout and yell and gesture, and then come the shove. The shove or the finger, finger pointing, right? And then it gets to the hitting and choking and kicking. And a lot of people lose or get messed up right at the shoving stage because a lot of time people get shoved and they either fall down or they fall back into a wall and this is why we have a different camera set up today normally i would be at uh, the camera is where i'm standing right now and i'm standing way over where the camera is but now today we have this because i need a wall behind me to show you guys. So it is very important to know how to protect yourself and how to recover from being shoved violently into a wall. The first thing you want to remember is when you get shoved into a wall, your head should never make contact with that wall. If you, if it is at all possible, you want to take it on your shoulder or your hip. So the moment that someone shoved me and I'm going back, the first thing I do is I'm relaxing and collapsing my body, letting my butt and shoulder blade go back and hunching up and my head is not going to contact the wall no matter what okay? the person can shove me as hard as they can I just collapse into the wall like that my hip my shoulder blade will hit the wall first okay so this is why posturing up is never a good idea in a fight in an argument in a conflict because if I'm up tall like this, and someone shoves me, oh, the back of my head, right into the wall, right? But if I stay nice and loose, 
And the, mo the moment the person come in and shove me, I just fall right back into the wall. And I, it's my hip, my shoulder, catch the wall. Do not stick your elbow back, okay? If your elbow hits the wall first, that will take the arm out of action for a while. Okay? Trust your body. Your shoulder blade in the back, your hip in the back, those are very muscular, very pad well padded area. They can take that a lot better than your head or your elbow or your hand. Okay? Let's say someone shoved me from the side into the wall. Again, I'm just going to totally relax and fall into the wall. I'm going to cross my arm. So I'm not going to pin my arm between me and the wall. I'm not going to break my arm. Okay, I'm going to cross my arm and just let my shoulder take this. Huh? And my head, again, tuck it in so it's not going to hit the wall. Obviously, if someone shoved me from behind, then I can just put my palm against the wall and brace it. So that's a moot point. No one, usually people don't shove you from behind like that anyway. I mean, you know, you're not going to start the fight facing the wall. And then someone shove you from behind and you run head first into the wall. What are you doing facing the wall in the first place? So, most of the time, the wall is behind you or beside you. Right? No matter what, your head should not come in contact with the wall. When you are shoved, relax, fall into the wall. Fall into the wall. Let, let your shoulder blade, let your hip, take the hit. That is number one. Number two, if at all possible, do not get splattered on the wall. And what I mean by that is, don't fall flat on the wall. Right? Your back should not be flat on the wall. The moment you are falling, you should take, you can pick one side. You either turn slightly to the left or turn slightly to the right and take it on one side of your body. Don't splat flat on the wall. Okay? That's really hard on your spine when you do that. If you just get smacked right flat on the wall like that. Always pick one side. When you're falling, turn, relax. Turn, relax. I'm taking it either on this side of my back or that side of my back, left or right. Okay, I'm not going to fall flat onto the wall. Number three, now we look at the recovery. So quick recap, your head should not hit the wall. So relax, let your back, your hip, your shoulder, take it. Number two, don't fall flat. Okay, it's, you should never fall flat like that. Yeah, when you're falling, pick one side. Twist to one side when you're falling. Number three, as soon as you make contact, you want to come back and retaliate. You don't want to stay here because if you stay up against the wall and the person start kicking or punching, you have nowhere to go. Now now you are kind of pinned between the person and the wall. Okay, so do not stay here. Sometimes it is really stunning. Sometimes the impact is going to stun you, but you need to recover as fast as you can. And we recover by rolling, rolling off the wall. Okay, I'm going to do this slowly. When I fall, I pick one side, I tuck in, and as soon as I make contact, I roll my hip and take one step forward. The roll, okay, it's all in the hip. As soon as I hit the wall, I roll my hip. So I bounce right off the wall. I roll right off the wall, and that step forward will take me into the person's private space because they just they just shoved me they have a forward momentum they're not going to be very far away the one thing that Johnny Tiger likes to do personally is if someone is stupid enough to uh, try to shove me against the wall 
what's going to happen is when I fall, I roll right off and my punch is already there, okay? I'm using that rolling off the wall motion to power a punch into their personal space. So while I'm coming off the wall, I'm retaliating, I'm retaliating, I'm coming forward. I'm using that wall to my advantage. So let's look at that again slowly. When you fall, take one side. Once that side make contact, roll your hip, come off the wall, step forward. Your hand should be punching or blocking. Okay? I'm going from a totally non-combative. I'm just standing here, hand by my side. Someone shove me, I fall, boom, I'm punching. As soon as I come off that wall, I'm punching. And it's a very long punch right into their space. Right? It will either hit them or they are forced to step out of the way, which means I can now move behind them or to the side. So I'm building on the momentum of me coming off the wall. You can actually practice this at home and make sure you don't break anything on the wall or photo frame, picture frame on the wall. Make sure it's a, something that you're not going to break. Okay? Stand about a foot away from the wall and let your body collapse back against the wall. Practice to touch with either your shoulder blade or your hip. Right? Practice to keep your head protected when you are collapsing back against the wall. Collapsing back against the wall. It doesn't have to be hard. Okay? You don't have to shake the whole house. Just collapse back into the wall. Collapse back into the wall. Right? And then, once you're comfortable with that, Practice coming off of the wall as soon as you make contact, roll off the wall and punching. As soon as you make contact, roll off the wall, step and punch. Practice until this is drilled into your muscle memory. So anytime you're going to fall into the wall, you automatically tuck in, roll and attack. This will save you from a lot of uh, very generic street brawls where people do this whole shoving against the wall, trying to pin you against the wall kind of maneuver. Thank you for checking out today's Survival Saturday. We'll be back again tomorrow for Soul Search Sunday. For now, have a good rest of the day. <laughs>